Right, good morning. We are back on the bank and I am on the syndicate back on Fields Lake up in Abaddon, the Embry Water. And uh, I haven't been here for a while. Um, I haven't been here for, well, I don't know, four or five weeks, maybe, maybe even a bit more. A um, couple of reasons for that. Uh, firstly, we had some warm weather and the fish spawned, so the lake got closed for about, um, I think it was about a week or so or thereabouts. Um, then uh, they were due to get some weed cutting done and um, there were some snags in the lake so they had to get the um, divers in to remove some snags um, so that took up a little bit of time them doing that and obviously caused a bit of disturbance and then um, they had some weed cutting for a week um, they had the um, weed boat in and um, yeah they had that work in the water so to be fair it was quite a lot of disturbance over a few weeks and that and uh, I wasn't really interested in coming up here so um, I gave it a miss for a bit I just left them to themselves I think a few people had a go but um, yeah I've got other waters I can fish so I just thought I'd leave it and um, yeah I've been up around sort of the Cotswolds around a um, water park in South Surrey um, I went up to Linear and uh, lost two fish and blanked, so uh, yeah, we won't talk about that. But um, yeah, um, I've had a few out of water park though to make up for it. And I've been out um, to a couple of little venues local just to get bend and rod a couple of times. So um, yeah, it's not been too bad. I've actually been doing a little bit of urban fishing on a couple of venues local to my hometown of Bristol. And um, yeah, I've been having a few absolute bangers, some little koi, um, some ghosties and that from a couple of little urban places which um, might end up making a bit of a campaign video at some point but um, yeah I'm still I'm still at it on there I haven't caught um, the fish I'm after and unfortunately um, there's been a bit of bad news with one of the lakes in that it's actually um, got some bankside damage and um, gradually losing water so um, they've had to close the fishing to uh, make some essential repairs but um, anyway a bit off topic but um yeah, so anyway, we're back on a Cindy, and uh, yeah, well happy to be here. So um, just to uh, give you an idea of what's happened, um, I got here late last night, um, had a walk around, there was a few guys fishing, so I had a bit of a chat, chatting for way too long, and um, before I'd even got the gear on the barrow, it's pretty much getting dark. But um, I've dropped in it in between, I know it well, so I could easily wrap the rods up and uh, get them out onto the spots. So um, I had a quick lead around with a marker, uh, well with a braided line and lead, just to check there was uh, nothing sort of gone over the spot, what the weed cutting in that. But um, it was absolutely perfect, so I put three Ronnies, um, different hook baits, one on white, one on pink and one on yellow, straight out onto the money. And I um, put about 12 spoms over the top of them. I'm actually using a new bait which I've been uh, using for a few weeks now, um, it's called the Bug from DNA and um, it's currently out with the testers on the team so um, everyone's sort of putting it for its paces before it goes out to the general public but um, so far I'm really impressed with it, it's quite different to a lot of the baits on the market and DNA really are bringing out some wicked baits which are quite different to um, the mainstream so um, yeah I'm really chuffed with it, I've had a couple of nice fish in it already and um, yeah I think it's going to be a really good bait. But um, Anyway, let's plug in, and uh, um, anyway, yeah, so, um, like I said, I got the rods out, I was probably up until uh, half two, three-ish, it was a real bright moon last night, so it was real good for sort of seeing any fish, and I saw quite a few show down into that corner, to be honest, um, which is where the um, wind had been going for the day, um, but I also saw a few um, show out in open water and heard a few crash out, um, actually I heard a couple crash out even at the top end um, near the car park um, which is quite surprising um, but um, yeah anyway quite in a bag anyway about three-ish here so and um, yeah I woke up about six um, now I'm not quite sure if I woke up because the Delkin was going or whether I just woke up naturally but um, I didn't realize any I had a bite essentially so um, I rolled over looked at the rod and um, the liner pulled out the clip and the line angle was basically cutting across the right hand rod so I had a pretty much somehow picked up the middle rod um, kited on a tight line I think and gone on gone across the other one so anyway I sort of lifted it up um, rolled down and unfortunately it was weeded solid and the fish had done me um, so that was a bit gutting but uh, oh well what can you do but um, I recast it anyway fresh up bay put it back on the spot and a couple of hours later it went off again so um happy days um we are one nil up or well, it's well i suppose it's one one isn't it because the fish uh, kind of won the first round but um yeah anyway we've had one so uh check this out so there's the result of uh this morning it's actually my second 
by or second pickup, I should say, that actually had some sort of occurrence on the uh, same rod, middle rod, um, but I didn't have any indication. I don't know what happened, but the liner pulled out of the clip and um, it seemed to have kited around and weeded itself up and there was nothing on the end when I uh, picked the rod up and rolled it in. But it's about it there another hour and a half after recasting it and it's gone off with this one. £18.10. Once again, another beautiful fish like they all are in here. Put up a lovely account for itself. I'm fishing a reasonable distance out about 100 yards or so, so um, took a little bit of effort getting her back in, but um, yeah, what a beaut. Well happy with that. Right, and there's the other side. Just as lovely as the other. What a cracking fish. Well, happy with that anyway. So um, we're slipper back. Rod is back on the spot already, but we'll slipper back and um, yeah, hopefully she's the first of a few. Right, and so there you go. Um, not a monster, but a lovely fish. So um, yeah, we've had one, happy days. Rods are back out fishing. Um, I'm gonna give them a little bit more bait in a second as uh, I thought I wouldn't sort of jump in and smash them with bait straight away as I'd had two bites and um, I thought there might've been a chance for another quick one, but nothing's happened. And to be honest, we're meant to be having some thunderstorms within uh, the next hour and it is very much looking that way. It's starting to go a little bit cloudy. Um, you can feel the air temperature changing, so I'm pretty sure we're going to have some rain in that soon. But um, anyway, I'm going to get a bit more bait out, and uh, yeah, hopefully we can have a few more. I'm here till tomorrow. Um, I can sort of stay late if I need to, to be honest, if, if it's looking good for a bite. It's meant to be really wet tomorrow, um, so it might be a case of just waiting for some rain to stop and then going. But um, yeah, I've got to go to work the day after that, so uh, hopefully we can have a few in the meantime. But um, yeah, I'm happy to be here, so uh, so it goes again. Right then, so as you can see, I'm baby bound. Um, you can probably hear the rain coming down. So uh, yeah, unfortunately, it's not a lot I can do at the moment. Um, it's been sort of on and off, drizzling all morning. And uh, it's um, now got quite a bit heavier with due some thunderstorms apparently tonight. So um, it's gonna be a big pressure change and um, a lot of heavy rain. And uh, yeah, possibly a couple of storms, but I'll be honest, it could really switch the fish on and um, it is chunk weather to be fair so um, not the best of fishing but there is a very good chance we could get a nice fish so hopefully the uh, persistence in this crappy weather pays off and uh, we end up with a chunk but fingers crossed it goes off for now though I'm gonna uh, get myself stuck into this I've got a lot of editing to get done and I'm glad I bought the laptop because I knew the weather was going to be a little bit wet so it means that you are quite restricted to what you can do and um, fortunately filming wise I can't do a lot at the moment so I might as well edit some stuff that I've already got on the laptop that needs doing so um, yeah let's crack on with that and hopefully at some point when the rods will go banging off. Right evening then so I thought I'd uh, just give you a bit of an update it's been very very quiet today I've been bound to the old tempest due to the weather it's been pretty much raining all day we've actually got a little bit of a break at the moment although it has just started drizzling a little bit but um yeah I've just been in there doing some editing catching up I've got the old uh MacBook with me and I've got um the Ridge Monkey power pack so uh I can get a few good charges on the old laptop with that thing so uh it's quite nice to be honest to be able to sit on the bank and edit instead of just stuck at home in the office doing it really but um I've got a lot to do so um it's quite nice to catch up but um, anyway, I've been sort of having a little look around, sort of out the letterbox style on the Tempest, but um, I've not really seen a lot. Um, I did see a couple of fish down in the corner earlier. Um, I went down there for a look just because there were a few fish showing there last night. And there was the old fish nosing around, but because of the clarity of the water, it's like 
literally like pea soup at the moment. You can't really see anything as such. There was just the odd sort of swirl here and there. I couldn't really tell if it was carp. I did, at one point, I was going to go to the car and get a few mixers just to sort of fire out and see if there was any interest, but I don't think there was many fish in there, to be honest. I did scatter a few handfuls of 12 millers though along the edge, just in case, you never know. At some point I might go down there and see a few fish nodding around or stirring the bottom up, fizzing or something like that, so it might be worth a little uh, little go for a bit. But um, Anyway, yeah, so um, I brought the rods in for a bit. I wanted to clear some of the scum in front of me. There was a lot of um, weed and twigs and stuff all floating around catching up on the lines. So I put the waders on and spent about 15 minutes in the water just sort of trying to clear out as much as I could. There's loads of dead weed in front of these swims at the moment, which I think is what most of this scum is. I think it's just um, the dying weed. It's just coming up to the surface and creating a bit of a scum. But um, I wanted to try and clear as much of that as I could. So I kind of got in there and I did a bit of uh, weed clearing. And then um, I put a little bit of bait out actually, I um, brought the rods in for a bit, um, I put a bit of bait in, about 10 or 12 more spawns, um, the, the air pressure is really feeling good for a few bites and um, it's very similar to when I was here the last time when I had the 30 and um, yeah it just feels like big fish conditions, it really does, so we're, we're actually due a lot of heavy rain tonight and potentially some thunderstorms, I just really think there's a chance of um, a few fish, so I'm sure in the morning I'll be proved wrong and I'll uh, probably have nothing to show for it. But, uh, you know, you uh, if you feel it, you know, you've got to, got to just go for it. And if you uh, if you get that feeling to give them a bit of bait, then sometimes you just got to go with your instincts. So that's pretty much what I've done. Um, but anyway, yeah, I've redone the rods. Um, I've decided to fish two on Ronnie's tonight. So one's on white, one's on pink. And um, I've also got one on a solid bag, just for a little bit different. I've been fishing Ronnie's loads up here. And um, I thought I'd fish a solid bag, something a bit more on the deck, a um, little bit more subtle. Oh, hello. Um, and uh, that was a bit of a liner. Um, and yeah, see if that works a treat or not. But um, anyway, not really anything else to tell you, but um, I'm going to get some food on and um, yeah, hopefully await a bite. But um, we will let you know what happens, so uh, hopefully the next time I'll be chatting to you, instead of me just talking and rambling about nothing, um, I'll be hopefully showing you a massive chunk, but uh, yeah, let's hope so. Tonight's tea then, we're cracking out the old roast beef dinner. Gonna be sticking out in the old bridge monkey to see how it turns out. Right, there it is then. I ended up covering it in cheese. Um, everything tastes better with cheese. But, um, doesn't look too bad. I'm very, uh, very happy with this uh, idea. Oh, look at that cheese inside the Yorkshire. Now that is a great idea. And out there, in the rain, there are rods ready for a bite. Right then, morning, just about. Um, it's about 20 past 11, and um, the reason for the lack of updates is because nothing has happened. Um, it's been a very, very quiet night. Um, I had potentially a couple of liners, but I wasn't too sure. It might have even just been the birds um, picking up the lines. As I had the tips of the rods up a little bit, just to try and avoid this scum and stuff in close but uh, to be honest some of it's gone um, I don't know whether it's drifted further down the lake as the wind has started going from left to right or whether um, it has sort of started to sort of um, fade away I'm not too sure but um, yeah so nothing's happened um, I'm still on the one fish but um, I'll be honest I'm actually pretty much packed down now um, all the kit is on the barrow 
um, I have got the rods out still just lead on the ground but basically um, we're due some rain uh, this afternoon and um, it's going to start thereabouts around midday-ish according to the uh, weather forecast. We've had a bit of drizzle this morning but it's dried out very quickly because it's very muggy and humid and um, they've been they forecast thunderstorms, they forecast heavy rain last night and it just didn't happen it was actually very still um, it was overcast but um, it, it you, the humidity went you know it was a little bit cooler last night um, not cold but it definitely went a little bit cooler but um, yeah, so unfortunately that weather front didn't come in. It looks like it's probably going to come in uh, sort of midday-ish this afternoon. So um, because of that, I'm um, packed down and I'm going to get on the road. Um, it's a bit of a shame. I think the reason it's not fishing very well is definitely the water clarity. Um, I think the pH levels are probably changing the water. It's clearly affecting the fish. Um, even the tench have been, have been quite, um, quite sort of non-existent you know usually they're showing here there and everywhere but um the reason i got so much kit is because i bought a couple of rods for the tench and a little bit of extra kit and bait just to um i was going to fish the days in a couple of areas um leave all the kit sort of set up in the swim here i was going to fish a couple of spots that got some nice little clear margin areas that um i could have baited up nicely and um fish for the tench but because of the the nature of the lake and that i just didn't think it was worth my time so yeah unfortunately it's been a bit of a bit of a slow one and um yeah it's a bit disappointing to be honest but at least we've had one you know one a monster but it's a nice fish and it was nice to get a bend in a rod and um yeah we'll be back at some point but um i'm probably going to give it a little bit of a, a little bit of a miss for a while just because the water clarity is terrible um they're saying that they're going to get some guys from embryo to come down and do some water tests just to check it's nothing deadly to the fish or anything but um I don't think it is, I think it's probably just, they've done all the weed cutting, it's, it's disturbed the water quite a lot and potentially it's just, just caused this, which hopefully won't last too long, but anyway, that's the end of the video, so um, I'm going to leave it there, but um, anyway, I'm going to leave them, well, I'm going to leave them out for a little bit longer, but other than that, I am pretty much going to be bringing them in within half hour or so, so thanks for watching the video, if you're new to the channel, remember to subscribe, uh, give us a like and a share, and um, Leave us a comment if you uh, like anything, want to know anything, or um, yeah, maybe even got any ideas of places we can go um, and do some day ticket stuff because we're going to be doing a bit more of that this year. Um, but yeah, anyway, thanks for watching. Get out there and be lucky. See you next time.